Six recovery efforts are underway to get the car of an Oregon woman that plunged 250 feet down a Big Sur cliff two weeks ago tomorrow. Angela Hernandez survived amazingly, but today crews were attempting to remove her mangled car to get it up back up that cliff. Action News reporter Felix Cortez was there and has the latest for us now. Two weeks after an Oregon woman plunged over the side of a Big Sur cliff, a 30-foot crane was brought in to recover the woman's car resting 250 feet down this hillside. The driver, Angela Hernandez, survived. It was a bit of a miracle, and, and that's simply an opinion. But, uh, it's a, as I said, it's a long way down. Thursday, tow truck operators brought out the huge crane to retrieve Hernandez's white Jeep Patriot, a Herculean effort that comes with its share of danger. Now, this is the second attempt to recover the car. The first attempt, the car got lodged between some rocks, snapping the cable like a rubber band. I was watching, I heard it, uh, and then I saw it coming back at those gentlemen there. Just ran back to, <laughs> ran over to check on them. Uh, thank God they uh, they were missed. If it had hit them, they would have suffered serious injury. By late afternoon, crane operators were slowly inching the car up. It was two weeks ago that Angela Hernandez swerved to avoid a critter on the road and ended up at the bottom of the cliff. Waves crashing into her car. For seven days, she survived drinking water from a natural spring bruised and battered, her story reaching this Belgium family touring California. By chance, curiosity brought them to the wreckage. That was because there was a crane and there was a police officer, so I thought maybe it's because of the car they are towing away. My wife said, oh no, it can be, it's a couple of days ago, but since so many cars were stopping, I said, let's check it out. 